Welcome everyone, I'm Kimberly Boschman and this is the Intentionally Intuitive Podcast. In this episode, we're going to take a look at the numerology and the energy for this upcoming full moon that's occurring on June 14th, 2022. And so uh, what I want to do, I'm going to do things a little bit differently for these um, moon readings ongoing. Um, I'm going to take a look at the numerology and the energy forecast for the collective, which I highly recommend you listen to because it does, you know, we're all part of the collective. So it does, we are... um, privy to these energies, right? We may feel them. Uh, Have a listen to that. And then I'm going to break the energies down into each life path um, forecast so that you can kind of see based on your life path number, how these, um, how this illumination may, may affect you, how you may feel the energies, that sort of thing. Okay, so this, of course, is a general reading. If you would like to take a look at your own personal energies and numerology, please book some time with me. The link for it to be able to do that is in the description box below. Okay, so before I get into the numerology, I went ahead and pulled an animal spirit card for this illumination. And very much aligned with the numerology, we received chameleon spirit. And so chameleon spirits message is uh, all about adaption, camouflage. When you think about the chameleon, it moves sort of slowly and it's got his little eyes are kind of um, moving all around, just taking everything in, um, seeing what's, what's going on around it so that it knows how to adapt so that it knows how it needs to uh, integrate into the situation, um, how it's meant to experience the, the, you know, its environment. And so I think it's really important to mention that, uh, we do have a lot of five energy coming through in this, uh, at this full moon. And so change, adaption, um, transformation, all of that is going to be very potent. And so I think that as we move through this illumination, through this energy, which can be at about the span of a couple of weeks, this isn't an eclipse energy. So, um, probably a couple of weeks we'll feel it. Uh, just try to embody chameleon energy, right? Especially if it's a change or a transformation that feels uncomfortable or that is unexpected, just play like chameleon, take everything in, look around, you know, and then adapt as needed, right? There's going to be probably a lot of, um, need for surrender, a lot of, uh, need to go with the flow, that sort of thing. A lot of things that we need to release control over with this illumination. And so instead of fighting that, you just, I don't know, anytime I've ever seen a chameleon they're ju- they just seem so <laughs> relaxed and chill. Like they're just, taking it all in, going with the flow, doing their thing and adapting, right? And doing what they need to do. Okay, so looking at the numerology for the collective. So this full moon illumination emphasizes the vibrations of the five and the eight. So it's very possible that collectively we could see major shifts or transformations when it comes to power uh, and the balancing of power, shifts in resources and global financial infrastructures. So we may be asked now to be much more adaptable in how we spend money, how we make money and where we place value when it comes to our purchasing power. So again, the five is all about change, um, freedom, uh, freedom of expression. Um, this is a big, fast moving energy. So it's, it doesn't want to be tied down. It doesn't want to be restricted. It's, um, go big or go home kind of energy. And that coupled with the eight, which is a very material plane energy. It's very much, it's very tangible. It's very about, again, power, money, business, resources, um, power dynamics, philanthropy, all these things, as well as intuition, uh, and a spiritual connection as well. But really, I think this illumination is really going to bring into the forefront a lot around change adaptability when it comes to finances, resources, especially on a global stage. Um, so you may see again, uh, power play, right? Things, things going back and forth around power and, um, 
redistribution of power, uh, where there's injustices, putting, uh, bringing uh, justice to that situation. I could see that all kind of be playing out now. Supply and demand is a real force. And when we buy something needed or not needed, we're saying we want more of this, whatever it is. So we may need to get creative when it comes to finances and our purchasing power to perhaps send a different message. If we want to see some sort of a shift, right? So it doesn't make sense to get angry or frustrated at large corporations, if we are constantly showing uh, consistent support for them and how they conduct business, right? So by purchasing their products, we're saying, we like what you're doing and we want more of this. So we always have a choice and it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna be an easy choice, but we always have a choice. And many times there are smaller businesses who offer similar products and whose values may be in greater alignment with our own. And so it may be a little bit more pricey. It might take a little bit longer to receive. It might not have that instant gratification. Um, but there are options out there, right? And so we just need to <clears throat> take that power back and decide how we want to use that voice, right? Like how we want to use our buying power and then, and think about the message that we're sending when we make that purchase. Uh, a lot could come up now around, again, power, power struggles, reclaiming power, and not sinking into sort of victimization, meekness, or submissiveness uh, out of fear. Eight and five energy together ignite the desire for expansiveness and sort of ultimate freedom. So anything that's trying to impose overly rigid or oppressive restrictions now will likely be faced with some level of revolt, pushback, uproar, that sort of thing. Personally, you may find at this time that certain routines or uh, mundane ways of doing things begin to feel really sort of claustrophobic. So it would be very easy under this energy to sort of make big sweeping changes within your life. And I would say just, you know, try to keep your head about you as you, you know, as you move through this energy, because when it calms down and you're only left, you know, you're kind of left with nothing familiar at that point, because you made these big sweeping changes, you may be wishing that you would have left something standing, right? So again, chameleon spirit can come in at this time and just kind of, again, just take a look around, slow your roll a little bit and make sure that the things that you are releasing or getting rid of or breaking free from are things that are ready to be released um, and, and broken free from, right? Like, um, you don't just wake up one day and be like, I'm going to quit my job and because uh, I hate it here. And so you just quit your job and you've got nowhere else to go and um, not the best financial decision or whatever the case may be, right? So it's very easy under this five energy to really get swept up in it and just make very impulsive decisions that uh, when the energy sort of fades in a couple of weeks, you may be thinking, oh, maybe I shouldn't have done that, right? I mean, the good news is, is that it's it's probably only going to be pretty potent for a week to two weeks. So <laughs> any big major changes that you make are probably going to be things that you can kind of um, backtrack on if you feel you need to. But I would say just really take everything, you know, just do an overview, make sure that what you're, you're, um, diving into or making changes for is, is what you want to be doing. Right. And what feels right for you for a long-term, uh, potential commitment. So it could also be very easy to overspend in this period or overindulge. So allow your senses to be delighted without being gorged. <laughs> and so trust me, you'll thank me later. You can absolutely 100% have your cake and eat it too. Just do so in moderation and you'll avoid getting a tummy ache. See what I'm saying? So be as flexible and adaptable as possible during this period. With five energy, change can be around every corner, and it may look different than what you had anticipated, especially when it comes to this eight energy of business, wealth, resources, and power. 
So go with the flow while also paying attention to what the situation is trying to highlight for you so that you can make any necessary changes or adjustments that feel good for you. With the coupling of the five and the eight energy for this illumination, think change, transformation, expansion, or restrictions. Remember, you've got the higher and the lower octaves of these energies. Moderation, enjoyment, Uh, you know, don't don't um, be so restrictive that you don't allow yourself to enjoy this energy. Five energy is a lot of fun. It can be a lot of fun. It can be very social, very big and expansive and joyful. And so allow yourself the enjoyment, right? And not, we don't always have to be so serious and sacred about things, right? So overindulgence, um, impulsivity are also possible. So again, moderation, moderation, moderation. Uh, freedom could come into the the forefront uh, when it comes to money, power, resources, uh, business, equity, um, the more tangible things in the physical plane. So you can make this energy work for you. It's all about perspective and driving your actions in the direction that you want to take them, right? Working with the energy. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the individual life path numbers. Life path number five. So some interesting energies potentially could come up for you all at this illumination. A lot around uh, past wounding when it comes to abuse of power um, or maybe restrictive mindsets around money. So this can be a time for you to really just sort of sink into that, explore it, see where there needs to be some healing, some forgiveness, some release. Um, so just pay attention to what sort of bubbles to the surface around this illumination for you. Again, this is a full moon. So there's something coming to culmination, um, something coming to fruition that needs, you know, that needs to be released, right? So there's closure here that needs to take place. And for you all, I do feel like there's potentially something, if there's anything unresolved, um, around past trauma, past, again, abuse of power, something like that. Or again, some kind of restrictive mindset around money. This is going to be a time for you to really explore that and maybe start that process. Now, it's not something that you'll, you know, overcome overnight or within a couple of weeks, but it would be something that you would really want to get maybe a handle on and work through, right? And so this would be a great time to to see a professional about that and to, you know, to assist you, that sort of thing. Uh, There is definitely something coming up here for you all around setting healthy boundaries. So again, if you're feeling like a doormat, if you're feeling like you're being taken advantage of, if you feel like, um, you know, someone is abusing their power with you, whatever the case may be, this is going to be a time again, where you just need to set some healthy boundaries and remove yourself from that situation. If those people uh, are not able to respect those boundaries, right? And so it's not only about setting those healthy boundaries, it's also about you holding those boundaries. So if you set a boundary and you don't hold it, you can't expect anybody else to hold it either. So it starts with you. Um, so definitely pay attention to maybe where you need to set some boundaries with individuals. It can be with family, colleagues, friends, whatever, partners. Um, but there's something here about some healthy boundaries. Uh, Moderation and then mitigating impulsivity is going to be sort of key as well for you all fives. Um, So, you know, definitely take advantage of this fun, beautiful, um, you know, expansive energy that we have coming in here. But I think it's going to be really important, especially because there's so much five energy kind of floating through this illumination. And this is your energy. So it would be very easy for you all to um, just get caught up in that and get swept away in that. And so you already are working with, you know, on your life path, on your journey, um, finding your center and moderation and all of that and sort of mitigating that impulsivity or overly restrictive energy, right? Like, so if you're someone who's very rigid and overly restrictive, you want to find your balance in that as well, because that is also not living into your leaning into your life path energy either. So, but I do think because we have such heavy, uh, five energy that it would be very easy for you all to really get swept up in that. And so I do think moderation and, Again, mitigating that impulsivity is going to be key. 
Now there is an opportunity here for some creative freedom for you to really express yourself creatively, but I also feel like there's probably going to be some, some level of restrictions or limitations or challenges that will need to be overcome. So it's kind of like you might get the green light for a creative project that you've really been wanting to do, but it's not quite the full green light yet. It's not full throttle yet. You kind of have some restrictions you need to work through, some limitations that you need to figure out and some challenges to overcome before you can really run freely with whatever this is and start to see some uh, gain, potential gains for that. So just be prepared for potential slowdown, um, having to maybe go back and, and read do something or do something a little bit differently or whatever the case may be this may be a time for sort of trial and error where you just have to you know be patient and adaptable to whatever restrictions or obstacles surface at this time and it doesn't just have to be with creative freedom it can also be with maybe a relationship or a job that you are you are um going for whatever the case may be but there is possibility here for some restrictions to come up and just you know if it's something that you really want keep moving forward you'll find a way through those restrictions and those restrictions will eventually lift and you'll get the full green light so uh, like I said, kind of a, a little bit more slower moving energy for you. This can feel a little bit uncomfortable for fives um, because, again, fives like their freedom. Fives like to be expansive and all of that and uh, don't really like to be sort of told what to do or tied down. And this, this energy that you all are going to be working with under this illumination can be a little bit, can feel a little bit restrictive or kind of like you're you have to kind of go through the protocol before you can, you know, and all the red tape before you can finally run free. And so you'll get there, but just be very patient as you move through this energy. Okay. So take care, everyone. Bye for now.